saw the Beetlejuice sequel in the theaters. <laughs> Wonderful! Is it good? Is it good? It was very fun. Uh, it had a lot of the characters came back, and they felt like themselves. And uh, oh, Catherine O'Hara was so good. Oh my god. She was really good. She was so good. She was so good. Oh my god. There's a lot of creative ideas, just like the original. It's it's about as good as you could hope a sequel to a 30-year-old movie could be. How <laughs> um, was not Winona not writer? Oh, she was good. She was good. I had that uh, it was very focused on her. Uh, a lot of different people are trying to marry her in this one. Uh, they're both they're both terrible. Oh my god, her her boyfriend in this is insufferable. It's it's very funny. Um, so was either one of them good or no, or did she not choose either one of them? Well, the other or... option is Beetlejuice. So oh okay, right. Um, Tough choice. Tough choice. choice. There was another romance in it uh, with her daughter. I was very disappointed by the way they handled that. I I almost thought they were going to do like a a classic romance romance, and I was so happy because those are kind of rare these days. Right. And yeah. no, no, it was like it was a subversion, and I was so disappointed doing it because they they keep thinking that it's, it's at this point it's not creative. It's not creative to 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 do that anymore because everyone does it. Right, so right. I was I was disappointed by that. There were a few extraneous plots that kind of went nowhere. There's like this French dead guy that he like he dies and then we follow him through the afterlife for a bit and then he, we just never see him again. He ha he has nothing to do with the rest of the story. He's extremely irrelevant. You just see him die and then you there's like two scenes with him that we have no rel that's not relevant really? at all. And like he should have been cut entirely. There's like oh, nothing. I see your point. I see your point. I, okay. I don't understand what I what he his point was, um, <laughs> but he existed. The other thing was there was this plot. So uh, Winona Ryder has a daughter in this, right? Oh, that's nice. And her, okay. but the father had has passed away. And oh my God, is he involved too? So he. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so there's a subplot about how she can't see him and, and and there's like oh like why can't he see him if you can see all the other ghosts right mm -hmm. and that doesn't really get resolved we encounter him in the story but it's not really explained why they couldn't see him before it's it's kind of it felt like there should have been a reason but it's mm -hmm. never it's never really explained i didn't like that uh it just it felt like there was there was something there that they either removed they, or forgot about or, or didn't explore as much as they they could have yeah okay. but i mean it was a fun movie uh there was a lot of creative ideas oh and, and willem dafoe was in it i love him i wish i wish they did more with his character i didn't really I, i'm not quite sure it worked the way they did it he, oh, he okay but i i was happy to see him and um they, they had a lot of things that they brought back, like the, the singing possession stuff and all of that. Some oh, of it, I love that part. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. They yeah, did yeah. that as well. I, I think this version, I thought, almost went on a little too long personally. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But it was, it was fun. It was a very, it was a very fun movie. It, okay. it, knew, it knew what it was and embraced it. And embraced it. It, <laughs> it, embraced, it embraced all of the, the, <laughs> the energy of the first one and just kind of ran with it. Um, also, oh my god, what's her name? Is the, technically the main antagonist. Oh my god. I think it's Monica Bellucci? She's great in it. I, she almost, she gave off a lot of, there's, there's a, a, a flash of Adam's family to her performance that I love. Oh, so it was like, it was a sexy kind of... Oh yeah. Well, oh my I god. Mean, Monica Bellucci is, uh, she's one of the most beautiful women in the world, even though she's older now. That, that's just, still. Yeah, she's still. just like... Drop. Yeah, still. Absolutely yeah. delightful. Through her, we get like a snippet of Beetlejuice's backstory, and I was nice. I was very con you know concerned about that because that's a character that if you reveal too much, it kind of loses the mystery. Right? No, right. they the way they did it is so it, it's so insane. Like the it the, the it's probably my favorite part in the movie is the way they decide to uh, show his backstory. It's fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go see that one. I I thought it, it was a pretty good sequel, all things considered. I also had some fun, great animation. Uh, like, you know, it had classic the stop motion animation from the. 
Oh, a little bit. Stop motion? I think oh, so. Yeah, but there were yeah, some yeah. really creative an like animation choices that they made. Um, yeah, they, they were very uh, creative about how to work around the fact that they don't have access to certain actors. Uh, yeah. They were very, very creative with that. Uh, oh, that's nice. Okay. And, and this was Tim Burton, right? Yeah. I think Tim Burton directed this. Uh, mm. And who did the music? Danny, uh, Danny, Danny, oh, Danny Elfman did the music. Uh, Danny and, Elfman is and, you, and you knew immediately, like, the moment it starts, it's, uh, like, the same, and you're like, oh, yes. The moment he came out a million years ago, in the Oing I think I might have wanted the few people when it first came out, Oingo Boingo, I loved them. And who knew from that, from that start-off CD that he would... Uh, be able to be the composer he is today. I mean, he just makes amazing, amazing music. I, music Danny great. Elfman is, he has a brilliant, he, he has a, a brilliance and a style that is just so recognizable, but deliciously creepy, which I love. Yeah, he's, his, his music's great. I was so happy when he came back. Like when, he, when his name appeared in the opening credits, I was like, and the, I knew it was him because the music over top the opening credits is without... Like, you know it's him. It, it's, so, it's so obvious, but I was so happy. Yeah, no, Tim Burton directed it, and, and Danny Elfman's the music. It's, it's the same crowd, and you can feel that it's the same crowd. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I, I, love, I love Tim Burton. There's always this, this um, brilliance and quirkiness, and, and there's a unique style that he has that really nobody else has. Yeah, it's very, it's very I, specific. Yeah, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So... Okay, sweetness. Well, I love you bunches. Love you, Mom. And I will talk to you soon. Talk to you later, Mom. Bye-bye.